Show here and in this video I'll be showing you how to escape trap sites in the easiest way possible. I'll show you three methods to do this and it is simple and easy and well save you a lot of trouble and embarrassment sometimes. So let's get big starting. Trap sites are sites that disallow you to exit a website uh, easily by either using some kind of JavaScript to keep the window uh, popping open like spinning around or something. Oh, going side to side and then a lot of boxes come up like Rick Roll does and one of the sites being smooch.net.lol no not dot lol slash lol which I'll show you in a minute and this like hops around and it's quite annoying and it's a lot of fun to do to people but if you're one of those people it is really annoying so I'll show you a way to do this So first of all let's go and this is the first method and let's go to the particular site that does this to us and it's a Rick Roll. There are many others but some of them are very inappropriate to show on YouTube. Anyway, let's go and get started. So I'm going to go on the Rick Roll and it loads up and there we go, it's in action. What we can do is, the best way to do this, one of the ways, the best ways is to go on to uh, Windows Task Manager by right clicking the taskbar and going to Task Manager right there and finding your browser. It's either Firefox, Internet Explorer, or wherever. Clicking it and process and process and it's gone. This, however, does exit every other tab in your browser. So if you are browsing a lot of things or you've got something important up in a tab, this is not the best way of doing it. Let's go to the second way of doing it in Firefox or any other browser. Okay, let's do it again, and this time I'm going to show you quite, it's a really simple but does require a little bit of effort to wait to exit reasonably quickly. So let's go onto it, and it'll kick into action any second now, there we go, I've been recrolled again. So let's go and we need to click something on the browser, like the back button, and we get this sign here saying we are strangers to love, and it keeps going and going. And since it's selected already, you don't even have to click it, you just hold enter, hold the enter key and eventually it will die out and allow you to exit it. It is a lot faster if you're not screen recording of course and goes to your home page or wherever or just exits out of the tab. So that is the second way of doing it really quickly. And the third way, which I'll show you now, is probably the best way to do it. Okay, the third and probably the best way is doing it through a browser called Google Chrome. If your main browser is Firefox, then you just download Google Chrome and keep it in the background or use it as your main browser because it is a really good browser. And I'll show you why, especially for trap sites like the Rickroll or any other trap site. It's basically just let's go on to it and let's see. Also, I'll open another addition, two additional tabs just to show you what it does. Basically, the first thing is the JavaScript doesn't get activated onto it, so it does not hop around the screen. And the second thing is, you can exit the tab and OK, and click this, prevent this page from creating additional dialogues, OK, and it exits that tab, and it is simple as that. And of course, your remaining tabs are still there, and it adds a recently closed tab as the Rick Roll, which I'll never be clicking for a while since I've recalled myself three times. So thanks again for watching, this has been Mr. Shell, and I hope you enjoy your escape techniques. Not out of prison, but out of rec rolls. I'll do a prison one later.